Morning guys, welcome back to the GKP. Hope you're all good. We have come down to Dazza Sky Farm, as mentioned in the last video, to do a little bit of grading. But I just thought I'd spin you this one. Have a look at this. This garden is absolutely beautiful. Daz and his mum have got one lovely garden. flowers stunning and this absolutely beautiful but I'd just like to have a quick look at the pond and all its lilies in bloom gotta be careful that I don't touch there's uh, this is a big carco and a new big carco just underneath there. Hopefully they'll come out from underneath the road. We can have a quick look. Look at that. What a beauty. And again, there's uh, the one that you got from AMC Coming, which kind of looks uh, a little longer, but not as, not as broad as that one. But yeah, sounds looking brilliant. You gotta be careful of this thing. It gets me a few times. It got me a few times, it has. Um, what we got on with is a little bit of grading from the um, fry that does a spawn at the beginning of this season, back mid of last month, I think it was. Show you this as well. I've also got this going on at present in the polytunnel. So I'll take you down and have a quick look. And we've just netted up some of the fry to start grading through. And Daz has got actually got a hopeful spawn going on in here. The uh, Karashi guy, female there, with his. Uh, Ginry and Benny Goy, his Kiyotsuri, his little male chag, his Ginry and Chag, and his Benny Goy, and then the big male Yame. So hopefully we're going to be getting a spawn on. What we're going to do is drop a little bit of water and add a bit of cooler water in here and hopefully that might trigger them because they were showing signs of chasing said young lady around yesterday which is the Karashi guy just coming here now hopefully she's gonna spawn well we're not 100 percent sure but it's well worth giving it a go just a quick one we've got some uh, timbers for creating the capping tops on this one and as you can get them painted up and if you're looking there guys you'll see that it's a lot lower than what it was a heck of a lot it hasn't dropped the water level for treating purposes because the amount of treatment that you would need to treat these fish in that volume of water is going to be uh, not, not stupidly expensive but quite expensive. So to keep costs down, there's a tip for you. Lower your pond water, treat your fish. Once your fish are being treated, you're going to have to do a water change anyway. And all you need to do is top back up. Again, same in here as well. And he's doing just the same in there. I've trekked both of these so that they can uh, so they can actually 
save a little bit of cost on the treatment. And here we have the master hard at work grading through what we actually believe is going to be the vast majority dice. Which means Randy may <laughs> finally live up to his name. Lived up to his name because the vast majority of these look like metallic and they all look dice. But yeah, I'm just going to go through these and grade some of these. And then. Uh, in fact, guys, they're 100% dice. I've not found a single not scaled one. Not found a single scaled one yet. Right. Yeah, even the greedy brown one there, which I think is a, a Chiba. That's Deutz as well. Very good. Very nice. <laughs> very good, very nice. Aaron, there's lots of... I'm about to agree, Daz, they do, they do look a bit... They do look... Yamatanoshka. Yeah. The actual markings on them are sort of rounded, like the ceiling markings on some of them, a bit like a um, Kasui. Yeah. Make sure you haven't got these fry mixed up with ones yeah. like, like this one. Look at the patch on its back, it's rounded. Yeah. It's not a sharp um, pattern like tanking on it are, but it's sort of broken. It's almost like that sort of cow pattern. So what you're going through now, you're just going just for deformities. Deformities and size, but all the bigger ones in there, in and there, then they'll go into the tunnel. The other ones are going. Tiddly ones will go back in the flying saucer with the Daphnia. They'll have less competition, so there you go. Catch up. Size grade. That is surprising, Dad, to see at such a young age so much pattern on them already. Yeah. And the fat little bellies as well. The yeah. live foods have made a massive difference, hasn't it? It has. That's a game changer. Is it? Oh, guys, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Look at that one there. Look at the Deutz markings on that. It really is sort of rounded, just like you'd see. Yeah, the more the more detailed, rather than having... I tell you, when these... How you Sharp get like edges. The, yeah, when you get the, the edge definition of the sumi when they get bigger, they're, they're going to look fantastic. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, Deutz for sure is looking nice anyway. It's much sharper. My, oh, my favourite, to be fair. Yeah. But do they all look metallic to you? Well, actually, no, when no, we, I can't what, see in the packs. When you were looking in the sunlight, that, like, that one there, that's got like a bit of a metallic. Yeah, it's definitely got a metallic luster it. across its back, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm not seeing the metallic packs. Normally, they'd, they'd be sort of silver, wouldn't they, if I if yeah. flashed them? But they are really small, though, aren't they? But in shade, though, we need some natural sun on them, don't yeah. we, to see that detail? I'm trying to see, I can't tell, you know. I think there might be a few scaled in there, but if one I seem to get, they're just all dollars. Yeah. Even like the plain orange ones, I thought, well, they'll probably be scaled. No, nope, they're all dollars. Oh, red eyes on that one. Yes, now, look at that one, his gills, they look a lot redder. It looks like there's some heat coming up on, the, on his head. This little fellow here. There's one or two, you, you can see a bit of heat coming into them already. And then there's this one that looks like he's got a zip. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a pinky colour. Yeah. You can see the sumi coming through underneath. So what's the parents from these ones? 
Copy it on. Oh, my coffee. <laughs> Don't want to be wasting that. <laughs> What's that? That's my remote, so oh. we can take it on. <laughs> I was being serious. <laughs> I thought it was a miniature camera you got. <laughs> So we've got the parent stock from these is the Ginrin Sancho, female, the Yamabuki male, Deutsch Sankey male, Scale Sankey male, and they were spawned on April. Oh, that's, that's, that's a little wrong, I thought. That's, I just said coming down right. So, as I said, I was on my way down to show you what was going on. These were actually spawned on the 29th of April. Oh, um Beginning the last one. Which you know, it's almost, almost beginning. Almost, yeah. yeah. Back in the back in the vehicle. Yeah. So they're going through, grading through them just in size. Size and deformities. Yeah, and just taking out any of that look a little bit special. Not too many, that's uh, been deformed though, does it? No. It's a very good um, success rate. I've not seen any flare gills and he twisted head or anything like that, which is the usual deformities. You can see that one. His tail's a bit bent. Yeah. Shame because he's got a lovely deep red, very orange. Two that have been that lovely colour. No point feeding them, does there? If you don't exactly. have to get rid of them at a later just, date. Just wasting Daphne. <laughs> wasting Daphne. Not <laughs> like you haven't got billions of them, but <laughs> all the same, it's still. Yeah, when they, they start to grow bigger, they, they eat it fast. I think the little one escaped then, does, and the big one went in. Yeah, I'll let that one slide. Probably get eaten by <laughs> the ones in the tunnel because they're a bit bigger than these. So are these going back inside now then? Yeah, these are going in the tunnel now. And then all the smaller ones will go back outside, which again is an insurance policy if something happens to all the ones in the tunnel. So if you have a 45 degree day and they all cook, I've still got a second smaller batch outside. There's one real tiny one in there, does it? it must have just been stuck to the net. I just spotted it then, but. How's it going? Barely on that one. <laughs> oh, that was a tiny one. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same size as that. There is one in here. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, It'll be interesting to to see what these become. Yeah. See that looks like an achievement, doesn't it there? Yes, there is a cut and it's door. It's now I tell you Vic, I took a, a net scoopful out and put them in with the sanky of the, the Haku and um, Achiever mix just as a as a backup. So that will be where they come from. Yeah. But as it happens, I've got they all came through all fine anyway, the those. So it'll be interesting when we do the Kahaku back to see how many um See, they're all Dorit. Well, they shouldn't be Dorit's because there's a Dorit's Achiever in there, so it should be a fair few Achiever. Let's give them give you a bit of a close up.
I'm glad to admit does. We do look like we've got better quality fry, although you've not got as many this time. Yeah. They do look better, don't they? Yeah. Because we did have a lot of pinched heads, didn't see we? see the bullets. Yeah. yeah. Lovely metallic sheen to it. Yeah, they are. Randy, you may have... Yes. You may have redeemed yourself. We're almost for the oven. Well, it can only be Randy because <laughs> he was the only Deutsch. He's the only Deutsch in there, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And again, though, that the female being scaled, you'd have thought there would have been some, but yeah, honestly, if I've only seen the odd one, I don't think this is a funny thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, there's not very many at all. He's got a tail deformity, so he's got no actual lobes on his tail. Yeah, or uh, somebody's crunched him. Yes, possibly a Toby nailed him. There you go, it does. You're in there. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> It is therapeutic though, isn't it? It is. God, that's belly on that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's ready to spawn. <laughs> I almost have swallowed a big Daphne. Definitely worth this though, They're doing it this way does, on it? It giving, it? giving it the live food. Yeah. Straight in from the start. A few more tanks, a bit more fine tuning next year, and I think we'll go on to a winner with it. Ah, there is some baby ones in there though, isn't there? There's some more that almost, that almost look like the matter of days old. Yeah. I hope I took all the bigger ones out. I mean, yeah, look, for example, look at that one there. I mean, that, that one is tiny. Yeah. Still, still amazes me that oh, I've got one that's... Uh, um, But look at them, look at them going, going through. They're still eating, still you're, eating. You're in this stressful environment. Oh, look, this one there does as well. That one's not going to That one's not going to kill you. Yeah. I've got that sat same before me too. Yeah, you see how it kills up at the back. Yeah, it kills up at the back. Yeah. Sure, how it had a look like it had a nice little pattern to it. <laughs> Every one that's like that is always a really nice, intense orangey red pattern. A couple of bigger ones I had in this corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is the thing this time, isn't it? This time, numbers yeah. smaller. Yeah, quality over quantity. Yeah. Great through fit size. Give these. I mean, look, God damn, look how many. Got <laughs> in here. Yeah. It's loads. <laughs> You ain't got no massive, massive Tobies though, like, no. like, like what we had in years gone by, you know, like the uh, yeah, the Benny guy. You get a great big one like yeah. that, they'd just be demolishing the fry. You can always tell you find loads of dead fry where they chew them up, they don't actually swallow them, they just chew them up and spit them out. They just seem to chew, chew the tail off and, and eat the eyes out of them. Protein though, isn't it? There's a lot yeah. of protein in the eyeball. Yeah. Although that's not a nice thing <laughs> like for the other one, but it's, it is true. Yeah. Again, well, I'm not sure what kind of grading we're going to do with Rick, but if it's August, I imagine it won't be this size. No. <laughs> I think it's going to be sorting out the bigger fish. I'm hoping more pattern wise, mate, so that we can go through yeah, what yeah, we really know to be looking for. The final grading. The final grading. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's that really pale. Now yeah, that'd be more interesting because at this stage you just you're not really great now you very rough grading. Well, good from the bad, 
Yeah. Size scale, like you say, give these all another opportunity because you take out all the, all this big competition from all these little ones. These little ones should be giving them the chance to to get to this. Yeah. Less competition for fuel for food. Yeah. Because you always have them what that odd one or two koi that just sit back and wait for everybody else to feed first before yeah. before we. <laughs> Escaping. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Gonna go a bit. A bit, bit hard, mm -hmm. that, isn't it? Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. They're hiding in corners underneath others. You need a square pan net. <laughs> <laughs> you got another small one. Can you use that one? I'll go and get the half in. Are you going to go make that one? No. I shall. I shall have a go. Surprising how quick they are at this size as well. They've been took and picked up, picked up and taken out of the environment, but yet they're still comfortable and happy enough to be sat in here feeding. Give you a bit of an example. This is what we're taking out and removing. And hopefully, you can see that Sarah's body's completely bent and twisted deformity to it. But yeah, that one's a, a no keeper. Just make sure that's back in place now. That one's that one's almost white. I say that. I say that one guys because I know Daz likes a shooter emoji. So we might have got him a Deutz one. <laughs> Daz loves the shooter emoji. His favourite fish. Don't go falling off that ladder while I've got you on camera, will you? Oh no, you're not stupid, are you? <laughs> I am, yeah. <laughs> Don't go doing these stunts. I promise I'll catch you if you do. <laughs> supposed to be sitting Sunday, it's the day of rest. You're supposed to be relaxing. You don't have days of rest, you don't.
garden's looking lovely as well. It is, isn't it? I reckon the majority of them now are getting down to... Maybe not. Maybe I'm right. <laughs> some of these have got some little fat bellies on them. Look at that. Yeah, they've, they've really, they've really made a difference on them. I think now the vast majority in there being a lot, lot smaller. Than what we've got in here. So I think graded out. There are some in there, in there that really are small. But I think this will give them a good chance to catch up with this amount of In the sunlight. In the past, when we've done this before, we've ended up quite a few, and I'm, I'm meaning you know, maybe a good couple of hundred that have been like the one that you saw with the bent tail. But on this lot, that's five, he says. Um, which is a vast improvement, which could only possibly be down to water quality, better brood stock, but just a little bit more good luck. So, I'm going to get these ones wherever they're going, dispose of the one with the bent tail and then the other little ones back into where they came from. So I'll get back in touch with you in a bit and I'll show you what's going on then. So guys, as you can see there, Daz is returning and we're going to do, apparently what everybody keeps telling me I can't do, we're going to run and catch up Daz, well I'm not going to run. We're going to do a slow jog and we're going to reintroduce these back into where we've just removed them from which is absolutely teeming I'm just going to one scoop out the tank over there Wow, my God, man! <laughs> Look at that. That's just Daphne, guys. That's a that's a whole lot of Daphne. My God! One, one scoop of the net. I should keep them happy for a while. Look at that. Now, look, for guys. They're all going to munch on that lot, and we're going to take them all back out in a couple more weeks, and we'll have all caught back up again. Connect. That were a lot of daffy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some crack in this thing. Mate, there is some big ones in there, isn't there? Mm. And there's two Tobys in there that could definitely... Uh... Yeah, they don't want to be in with the others. No, they don't. So round two. <laughs> so this next batch does. Yeah. Same parents. 
No, um, these are scaled kahaku and the um, Deutz, um, oh, what's it called, Kachiba. And I think I put Yamaguchi mail in with that. You know what, I'll go and get, I'll get the. I got him again, folks. Testing his memory. His memory failed him. It's crazy to think that you can see just the difference. If you look down here, right in the very centre, you'll see some absolutely tiny ones. Crazy to think that. They all come from the same spawn, the same hatch, yet can be so much different in size. When you look at some of those in comparison, and then the only one that we've got which is, I would say, a true Tilby, by which, oh, there's he gone. Oh, there he is. Look at the size of this one. Three times the size of everything else. Crazy. Excuse me. It's on the video what that yeah that you put yeah. out. Well I'll have a double check back and if we can we'll uh, we'll put it in around about here somewhere. Yeah. But it's the female, oh sorry, right, so it was the spawn in the left hand tank which was, was yeah, the, the, the the old um, Kahaku, the one with the lump on its back. So Def that was the Deutz, the Deutz Platinum Achiever. Yeah. And did you not the, have the metallic Chag Wibber? I think I had the, the Ginrin Chag. Ginrin Chag? Yes, I'm sure the Ginrin Chag. It was, because I was going yeah. for the Achiever mix, yeah, so it would yeah. be the Chag, the Achiever, and the Hakuhaku. Yeah. Testing the brain there. What's left of it? Excuse Daz. Yeah. It is a bit warm. <laughs> You're getting a good tan from it though, mate. No <laughs> else. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to going to work in it tomorrow. No, I mean neither, mate. I think when it's weather like this in the UK, they should make it annual holidays. Yes. Definitely. What do you reckon, folks? Get the holidays out. When sun's out, we all get a fortnight off, as we only get two weeks of sun in this country anyway. <laughs> Just saying, Des, it's crazy to think that you can go from that... Yeah. To something that's... To something like the... the, the yeah. To one metre ten. So there you go. It's in a short period as if well. If you look there guys, from something that size to one metre ten. That is nuts. That these fish can grow so big from something so tiny. Be fair, does. Yeah, I think it was that. Oh, maybe one more. It's a quick hit through my fingers. The thing is, you think you've seen a big one, mm -hmm. and then it starts slipping around tank, and you think, well, actually, you're not that much bigger. Yeah. It's looking like there's going to be a lot of uh, achiever. Yeah. I don't know at what age they get the actual Achiever stripes. You know, the pattern. I'm assuming they start off brown and then the gunmetal grey comes afterwards. I've never bred Deutz Achiever before, so it's new territory. 
I have a fair few kahaku though looking at all these, yes. <laughs> oh, somebody's barbecuing. Mm -hmm. Bastards. It's not fair. <laughs> How do you even do that? <laughs> if you could uh, smell the smell of barbecue cooking meat that we can smell right now, it's pushing us close to thinking yeah. dinner time. <laughs> Tip the fish back in. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna gate crash. <laughs> I think they'd noticed us if we walked in and said hello to everybody and shook I people's hands and like you know I don't think so. just it's mingled like, and said just say it's a GKP. GKP can do it anything, can Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue inspector. <laughs> Please present your beggars. <laughs> Chief Fire Officer. I think they're much and much in there now, does to be yeah, fair. I'm struggling to find anything that's. Yes. It's crazy. One Parawaki. <laughs> Where does that come from? Yeah. Which is, which just so happens to be the biggest Toby that's in there. Mm. I'll show you so you can see a little bit closer, see if we can get it in there. It says, a perfect black tantrum spot, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what that is. It's very similar to my Benny guy. God damn it. That's a carpet, not the. Uh... Yeah, I'm just showing the size of the, the tilby. In comparison, yeah. <laughs> and then we've I got many fish is that? we've got one here that we believe is going to be a lemon arawaki because he's got a thin little pattern coming up on it. Again, a decent sized tub with that one, isn't it? Yeah. But look at that. If we got that one, and then it's got nice scalation. Yeah, if we go, nice. if we go there, you go, guys. <laughs> Check that out. You could easily swallow that. Hatch the same day from the same spawn, exactly the same age. Except that one ate all the pies. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Nice little fish, isn't it? Yeah. So, out of all the ones that Daz has now separated out, he's bringing them in. I'm going to release them into here. And if you if you look carefully, there is the odd one which escaped the net. Yeah, they're different. But yeah, the ones. We have tons and tons and tons. Yeah, there's a tiddly little one just there. Look. Yeah, and down there. There's a yummy, I think, or two yummies there. But if you look in here, guys, you can also see that there is a lot of live food in here as well. It does have put in, in fact, just there you go. You can see it all whizzing around everywhere there. And they look pretty big, surprisingly, so that we are zoomed in though. The Daz is going to deal with the honours. Yeah. And now these ones are going to get to grow on in here. Which, if they don't grow in this heat, mm. it's somewhat wrong. Yeah. Because my arms are starting to sweat, they've only been in here a matter of minutes. There we go. And the rest which are smaller, oh god that's so much better. Flipping it, it's hot in there. Seriously hot, my arms are sweating. Um, the other ones then are going to be taken back down and put back outside to grow on without the uh, bigger fish competition. When I say bigger fish, obviously fry but all the same. Still gives them less competition. You're over there, whizzing around it. Yeah, there's clumps of them everywhere, aren't there? Yeah. Oh, 
doing it with the little buddies. Yeah. Right guys, just going to show you, give you an example. I don't know if you can see that water. Can you see how it looks like it's fizzing? That is literally all the daphne on the surface of the water. It almost looks like it's distorted. It really is. The daphne. Absolutely tons of them. Making the surface of the water fizz. <laughs> That's not <nuts. laughs> mentally the corner. I'm gonna give these little guys something to feast on because active insect life like that is gonna switch them straight into predator mode and it's gonna go straight around darting after them. Look at that, that is crazy. Surface of the water fizzing with insect life. We were just saying then, me and Daz, um, we've probably separated out a good 300, maybe 400 or so of the larger size and we've removed all the deformities. So now, again, the next batch, which is going back in to the second, um, I'll show you. So these are going back into here now. Yeah, grow on a bit more. Oh. On there, does that look a little bigger than that? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's the next generation tub, isn't it, really, though? Yeah. So they're all back. I can't have a... Yeah, watch this, guys. Check this out. This is nuts, man. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and you just keep doing that and keep doing, doing that it every day. day and they just keep replacing so as long as That's I give them an occasional feed of the um, spirulina look at that guys that's a serious amount of Daphne hopefully you can see that it's a cost a fortune if you had to buy that yeah they're good million round dinner there's one straight in pack of, straight in thick of it look yeah <laughs> And believe it or not, guys, there you go, guys, look, absolutely millions of them. Millions upon millions upon millions. Well, I just said to Dad, I think you've got a plague. But he's literally just, you just seen him go across this with the net. They haven't even made a dent in them. He just scooped a whole net full out of there. Yet they still. Tons upon tons upon tons of them. I've got to admit though, Daz, these ones here, these look smaller. So they're like you said. These are the next generation. These are the next generation and then they get to a set because there is some real tiny ones in yeah. there with them. And they're perfect for feeding those guys. Yeah. And that's why it's, it's hit and miss with live food. If you get it wrong and you put your fry in when the daphne are at the biggest size, there's nowhere they're going to eat them. Yeah. You, your fry will just start. They're quite surprising. They get quite big, don't they, really, to they be do. fair? Yeah. They get to about you know, three, oh, good, three, 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 three mil or three or four mil at least. Yeah. Some of that I've seen earlier on. And it, I mean, I don't know what size they are when they first hatch. It must be a quarter of a millimetre, it must be tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, gas. There we go, guys, look. You can see them right after. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The dams will fly just past us then. No, that one's because cool. these haven't emerged to the surface yeah. yet, have they? Yeah. So whatever it is, just get the Row after row after row, whatever the is that's laid on them. Yes. Yeah. And there we go. There is one there. The big one, summit to eight.
I'm not going to tell you what Daz just did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could tell, probably tell by the sound of the noise in the background. <laughs> Such big fish, Daz, but so gentle when they come up and feed, aren't they? Yeah. Right guys, spot a lunge while these guys have theirs. Well that was good timing, just spooked them. <laughs> right guys, we're uh, we're getting on with doing a little bit of these. Uh oh. He says we 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 <laughs> Das has literally just been to flick the switch. So I'm guessing we have a technical issue. I'm gonna say unplug it out of that one and plug it into that one next to it and it'll work if it don't work this time. But what we're doing is the cappings to go around so they will look the same as this one. That does has already got the timber cappings on. And then we're gonna drill them down and bolt them into place. And Daz is gonna try what I just said there on camera 30 seconds beforehand. And now, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not then. Uh, is that a fuse or is that a trip dump box? So, while we get around this technical difficulty, we shall get back to you in a tick. <laughs> right, just, 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 just so we can... Uh, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the saw, it's just a slow starting trigger. Watch. It doesn't work if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Does that need lifting a little bit? Are you good? So that's piece number one. To you a Twitter? Maybe, there we go. Yep, piece number one. Right, so off down to yours and then along here and then back around. I'll do that as your last one wheel, dodgy bits around it. All oh, right, sweet, so we've got to you. <laughs> Flipping, eh? There's some decent lamps to them, isn't there? Yeah. And we should have a sharp pencil now. Mark for, pencil mark free. It does <laughs> brought two out with no nib tips on them. <laughs> so, we're going to have two going across there over the top gravel board up. So you weren't joking, you are getting in the pond with the waders on. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I can cool off. Yeah. I have to have electrocuted myself. <laughs> After you've electrocuted yourself, you could cool off a bit. Yeah. Right. Look at this filming while we work. <whistles> and that, ladies and gentlemen, will come in for a polytunnel door. <laughs> As that's the exact same off cut on the last ones that we used on Vicky's polytunnel. Yes. <laughs> Looks familiar. Do you want to take the, get that off your cup yeah, and we'll get rid of the wane edge on that? Yeah. If you go, you can reach over, it'll go. You should be able to go right to end. I was meaning that end and walk round. It's long enough to be able to reach over the pond. Yeah. Should be able to, I think. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> that was <were a> stretch. <laughs> Far. You've got a shake on the end of here. 
So you can take two inch off this end if you wanted to too. Because it has got a split here. Now the shake's smaller this side, it's only an inch now. You got a good end on that. Alright, well then just trim it straight off this side then. Sorry guys. But you don't trip over these bricks, does right under my feet here. <laughs> That's some special fox trap. It's a fox trap. <laughs> yeah, so that would be like that. Right, so we need we either a... either have it like that, or we have it so that comes up like that. I reckon, I reckon if you, them, yeah. I was just going to say, I reckon if you lapped over the top, then you get run off rather than avoid for moisture to get trapped in, wouldn't you? Yeah. If that's lapping over the top of that one, then it'll run off and down the face and not, you'll just get moisture trapped in the back of there, won't you? Yeah. That means we're cutting these down for that. Oh, I'd over so, yeah, yeah, could match it over. I suppose then it would go all the way down to the gravel board, yeah. Yeah, just let it in. Yeah, so it would be. Yes, oh, yeah. that's perfect. perfect. So just notch that end then. Yeah. We only need an I told you we need an answer. <laughs> right. <laughs> so all you need is your end point. So that needs to go. You're assuming that that whole run across there is level though. Try two double balls on that end and see if you've got the same gap. <laughs> you might not have. Watch the face of disappointment guys. Now you need it. I'll chuck you the small one does, covered in gunky stuff. You ready? You ready guys? Said piece of wood. Oh, look at that cricket and gap does. I mean, oh, thank God for the net. Sweet. Right. So we just need to mark this one for the cut here. And then another one along on there to marry him with that. <laughs> Saved twice by the net does. Oh no, we're not doing that because that's what Colin wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know if you remember guys, he asked you several months ago, what do you think guys? Like this or like this? <laughs> Col. Yeah it will, yeah. Damn it Col, you were right. <laughs> yeah, so that'll work too. Yeah, but it's not going to go in there though, does is it? Because you're going to have that middle piece there holding it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're just going to have to... Yeah, it'll, it'll still fit in the gap. You just need to cut it so that it's proud of... Yeah, laptop. So what we need to do, right, let's just bear with one sec guys while we get this little bit sorted out. 
Well, honestly, guys, I wish I'd just got the vast majority of that on camera. Because that was funny. Dad's trying to operate a circular saw when he's unplugged the, <laughs> unplugged the cable so he could use it was, the drill. It was textbook. <laughs> <laughs> he'd unplugged the cable. He's clicking at the trigger again, thinking, this ain't working. Yeah, it's not plugged in. And then he came over here to use the drill, which didn't work because that one plugged in because he just took it from there to plug in the saw. <laughs> <laughs> but now we've got all the cappings on, we've just got two cuts to go and then Daz is getting his swimsuit on and he's going for a scuba Steve in nothing more than 18 inches of water and as you all know that's no sight for Daz <laughs> yeah. We might have to bring that up one more block you know Daz Because yeah. like you said that's that's recipe for overflowing when you're on holiday. <laughs> Let me hold it while you get a screw in. This is trust, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is a bit where it nips my palm of my hand and I become a permanent feature of the fun. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to put two boards here across. And we had some fun just cutting the angles, so this is going to be shits and giggles all day long, cutting these, letting these in there. <laughs> One more cut. Now then, Daz. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. What are you thinking? That's good, it just tap it that way, but I think it's... Oh, you're doing it wrong. Mm. Well, I'm not doing it right, but... <laughs> and we're good. Hang about, let's give it a tweak up. Can you make that drill go faster? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it going slow? Oh, sweet. Look at that. Blind man on a galloping horse would be happy to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the concentration. Warp speed. Did, did you see that, ladies and gents? <laughs> he actually put it on full speed when we weren't holding on to it. <laughs> While we were holding on to it, he did it nice and slow. You can wang that one back in. Yeah, I'm going to make sure it's Uh-oh. I think you moved the pond then. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go that way on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, and was, was it Rick that cut this post? It was, yeah. Shall we, shall we, shall we shame him? No. I'm free, we could just go, shame. <laughs> okay. Shame. shame. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some two packs all around it, does it? Really? I'd... Right, one more piece to cut. I'm going to pick back up with you in a tick. As Dad says, this is the bit where it gets sketchy. I thought I'd pick the camera up, guys. <laughs> One last cut as he balances on the edge, living oh, life. <laughs> living life by the seat of his pants. I mean, very wet, sure but this it? is this is, ladies and gentlemen, the finest spear in Jackson saw you have ever seen. <laughs> This was the first one ever produced. <laughs> <laughs> no I used this, guys. <laughs> Handed down through generation after generation. <laughs> Seriously, you could ride bare ass to China on it. How it's actually cut in the wood is just pure speed of Daz's arm. It's burning its way through. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lovely bend in it for going round corners. <laughs> You'll be amazed for the fit, the quality. 
<laughs> I'm not so sure I marked it. <laughs> oh yeah, I will be amazed. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, see that's the best man. Two fits like that to kill an elephant. That's the best joint of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> so, last one in, couple of fixings, and then Daz is doing the type of thing. Me and Vicky are going to be on the outside of here, one of the bold in one side, laughing at Daz while he's slipping around in all that slimy stuff down there. As he tries to get fixings in there, stay tuned because we will have the camera about here, so all can be seen. <laughs> All I'm saying is, guys, the angle was perfect, but you don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you won't see it, but. This is so much better earlier. No, so when it. <laughs> Even the bolts are going around corners. Oh, that gap closed up there then, does? Doesn't look as bad as it did now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I'm going to knock that down. Yeah. See if you can. I'm as well. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. go. Power. Oops. Just in case, guys, I'm moving my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Uh, nobody saw that. No. Nothing happened that, here. That was like that before. Yeah, it came like that. That's where it was bolted in the shelf. <laughs> in, the, uh, in the shop when we picked it up. What we're going to do is he's going to angle grind the screw off and then we're going to do the same drill a lever all the way around and make them look like they've got double fixings <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's about guys having a laugh and having a joke because you can't take shit serious it's just a pond in it <laughs> yeah we could we could turn that into a we could turn that into a feature jack does <laughs> we just drill every one of them, it's a drainage hole. Yeah. But it's a rock. <laughs> See how convinced he sounded then. I'll just bring some tool pack down, Daz will fill it. Yeah. Left a bit. At least the drill worked this time he plugged it in. Nobody heard that other than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> These are hammer fixings, in case you were wondering. <clears throat> that were pretty close to giving you a right nice blood blister on your thumb then, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been another two weeks of work. Yeah. Estelle, he's trying to get some time off. No chance. <laughs> so there, piece along there, screwed to that. One on the underside, which we're going to chuck in. And then, cappings and tops on. Because, just to put all this board down and take the twist out of it. That's proper it's, gone, isn't it, that? <laughs> that's like a propeller. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to screw it to either, this end. Yeah, no. Uh, it's going to be with a little bit of pulling wood wedged in there that's going to hold it down. <laughs> don't tell Colin we're doing it though. <laughs> I mean, he don't watch the videos anyway, so he's never going to know. No. <laughs> How did you manage to sharpen that pencil? She sharpened it and re sprayed it a totally different colour. Yeah, it changes colour of the pencil as well. <laughs> right guys, back in a minute. Now as you can see there, 
Daz is wearing his waist waders for an average bloke. He's going in off the deep end. And he says he says he's actually got a diving board now. <laughs> So that's them all on. One's on. Now we're going to need to get the scribe in. I'm weight testing it. Wait. Damn it! <laughs> Was that an air of disappointment? Uh, just, a, just, just, just a Twitter. Only a little. It would have been far more. We could have put a nice little beat to it and repeated it again and again and again like the little jigging on your spade bun we did many moons ago. Was that a fish? Oh. Ah! I wonder where that's gone. That fish grew. Daz always gets the good jobs. After all, it is his pond. In fact, technically, it's his mum's. <laughs> now, if Daz was a little smaller, when he got to this bit now, that overflow there would fill up his waders <laughs> and wash him away. Have you ever done that, Daz, when you fly fishing, gone too deep, got too much in your waders, and then your feet your feet come up above your head? It's hard as hell to get back in your feet, and it? it scared the shit out of me the first time it did it. Yeah, and it sucks into your legs. Yeah, off. yeah, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> the worst ones where you're wearing just hip waders, and you overstep somewhere, and it's that little bit too deep, and then you've got to walk around with soggy feet for the rest of the day. Fly fishing. Yeah, it's nice in the summer. Not very nice in the winter. No, it's not. We'll have to have a go at Rutland Water one day, Daz. We'll have to go there. <laughs> Rutland Water. We'll have to go there. It's brilliant, mate. Hire a boat and get four men in a boat. It is the funniest shit you've ever done. I swear to God. The waves come over. Never sit at the front. Never sit at the back. In the middle, you're about right. Because if you're at the front and you hit a big wave, you get soaked. So my dad said to me, that's it lad, I'm steering now, you get to the front. So he, he turned side on into a wave and it gulped him front back. <laughs> he went wet through. Brilliant days fishing though, it was good fun. So one more piece in there now. Yeah. Let that in, chuck it in, tight fit on this because we want to wang it into it, springs that back in. Yeah. yeah, right. Be back in a bit guys. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I'm just going for the concrete one. But this, look at, this is what happens with kiln-dried timbers. Kiln-dried timbers have got a tendency to twist and warp. And when they twist and warp, you end up with this kind of thing going on. So you get boards like that, that pull and turn. And it did have a fixing in, but the fixing wouldn't take a grip because it's into the concrete ballast that does mixed up which is not as a strong a fix in it as the post. So we're just trying to see if we can make it look like it was and pull it straight again, but it's difficult. So Daz is going to go, oh my God, break my neck by leaving bits hanging around. He's going to go reduce the angle a little bit and see if we can tap it over that last little inch. It'll make it look better than what it did, but it ain't going to be cock on. You're never going to pull that straight. If you look down the length, You can see it's twisted up here and it's twisted up there at the far end, making the board do this, that end, and this, this end. Fourth grown timbers, the brilliant, cheap, mass produced, but the growth rings are huge, which makes them move more. Hopefully, when Daz comes back, we'll be able to put it in and make it look a little better than it did. Quick trim up with the handsaw, which I have to remind Daz to remove that screw before it does, and then bring it for lush and level. Daz Mark II. <laughs> oh my gosh! Daz did say that would blow my mind. What will blow my mind even more is if Dad can get his answer in there to trim that tip off. <laughs> Go on, Dad, send it full way. And just trim it off. Yeah, that's better. That's better. It's pulled it flat. And now then I've got a... I can put a cup of tea I down on there without it going... On, I have a problem. slight warning before you start cutting, just in case. There is a screw just on the underside. Not that it's going to wreck the best saw in the world, <laughs> but yeah. I'll take my chances. Thank you. Don't want that family heirloom <laughs> getting ruined. <laughs> ruined. Now then, get your saw in there and just trim that bit off. So we should get my special utility saw. Oh. Huh? Come on, we fancy pants. Special name for it, you mean reciprocating, sir? Yeah, I, yeah. Can't, I can't use my special name for it on air. <laughs> <laughs> That's done it. Sweet. Yeah. 
So now when you look down, it's just, it's, it's straight that side, now it's just kicking up this side. This as well. No, I mean, it, it, it's actually lifted it a bit, but yeah. just don't put your brute this side. <laughs> That's better. Uh -huh. So there we go, capping's on. Oh, Daz, we need to raise this filter up. It's, it's, it's holiday close, Daz. As you said, if you go away anytime, have we got another two more M? Yep. Switch power off. Flips the water out again. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna raise this up and then then you will be able to lower that down and it will flow yeah, faster yeah. again. And the plant's almost fallen in. You, 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 mini cactus is that jumped. I just watered that. Gaz Daz being green fingered or all that'll that'll, that'll come back in no time. <laughs> You see how technically he planted those little roots in. There we go. Is this an optical illusion or is it higher at this side than what it is this side? And if it definitely is, isn't it? Mm. It's higher here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Rick, Rick. <laughs> Rick cut that side as well, didn't you? Yeah. On three. Yeah. Shame. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Clean it up, tidy it up. Banging bits and bats away. I'll have you a quick spin round. And you can have a look. And Daz is actually doing a bit of solvent welding, a bit of pipe trimming. I'm going to show you what we've done. Just to give the ponds a little different direction flow. Now Daz has got a choice and an option. Um, I'll spin this round. As you can see now, we've got, uh, we need another brick. But Daz used it. Daz used it. Under there. So, <laughs> so we're a brick short. I'm putting the netting back on, so they're suspended like that. Um, the netting's back on. Daz is topping this back up a bit now. But what we've done on this, is we've raised it up a little bit because was it was that little bit well it was about to about about here so the problem is if it misses a day coming to give it a clean and it starts overflowing so we've raised it up a little bit we've trimmed the pipe and we've just put on this elbow so that we can push the coil in that direction as before it was running straight out and the fish always used to swim in this motion and now they seem to be going in the opposite direction so whenever Daz wants to give them a different directional flow pop this off whiz it off that way and then the flow will stay in this and then vice versa and he puts the elbow back on we can move it in that direction so we've just done the same with this one and we've just put a, a shortened pipe on and now hopefully the flow will start moving that way we also raise this one up an extra brick to bring it level Oh, cobweb, just walked right through a cobweb now. <coughs> yeah. Spiders in my eyes and in the back of my hair. So now we've got this one all done. Daz just needs to paint these up. But it just finishes it off that little bit. It makes it a little bit uh, more completed. But he's put, he's keeping the net on because the heron's been coming round and the foxes are coming round. So now all the fish i've got a double cover on on both ponds same net covers both topping this one back up now since he's finished his treatment and everything is scraping clear and no more flashing or anything and the same in this one he's topped this up a little bit tomorrow and the day after and get him back up to maximum flow so that's all the Pond's finished, apart from the paint and Daz wants to go on and grey them all off like he has to the others. We'll go down and have a quick look. I'm breaking down the grading station where we were grading earlier this morning. And we'll have a quick wander down here so you can see. And see how they're doing and how they settle back in. 
there we go the only trouble now Daz has got is the sun's gone down the pump switch off but there's all the little ones that we added back in which we actually need to come back down here and put the net back over I'm glad I come down because we'd have forgotten about that stops the birds picking off the little ones so there's still quite a few good numbers in here there might be the odd toby that we missed because oh I'm saying toby odd, odd slightly bigger one that we missed because it's difficult to see when you stir it up a little bit and then all the other smaller ones that we moved off back inside here I'll remind us because the netting's there we need to come back and put this back on I'll show you the others that we moved into the polytunnel tell me what you think guys can you see it one two three four mud ponds Gaz sorry Daz in the comments tell Daz get the mud ponds dug four big mud ponds four big mud ponds they won't be as big as Adam Byers but they'd be kind of half the size of his be a heck of a lot of soil though a lot of soil to move but you could just make big berms all the way around line them all off drop them all in put your comments in below guys Daz do the mud ponds <laughs> so there you go guys as you can see absolutely zero spawning going on in here but Daz is going to leave them in and hopefully they'll go she needs to spawn because she's got lots of eggs in her so she's going to have to go at some point wow I think my lens has just steamed up in here this is well hot in here and all the other little ones that we brought are all in here all scattered about everywhere and then yeah you can see all, all water's fizzing again there's way more Daphne than that one does than this one have you? Yeah. Daz has been scooping netful, netfuls out of here every day and putting them in there. Yeah. But it, what's this? You can see him here, Daz. There's, there's tons of them. Yeah. Look at that, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> mental, they look that many of them. Yeah, no, don't, does it? No. But this is where you stop your population from crashing, though, mate, by cycling them and putting them into another one. Yeah. And there you go, plenty of live food gone in there for them again. Just mass balls of it, crazy. And all the fry down there, cruising around. Look at them, grooving around there on the by the pump. They've got plenty to eat now, if they spot that lot, they should be going crazy. We were hoping that, Daz were hoping that when we got here this morning that these would have already been spawning, but this is what it is. One of these days we'll come down and we'll catch a spawn and we'll actually get it recorded for you. Well, Daz actually got a bit last time, but we want to see if we can get a full, a full spawn and then watch those fry through get them under a microscope so you can see the eggs develop and when they turn into wrigglers then from wrigglers into the first grade and from the first grade in, into you know little little koi and fry for you uh, sorry fingerlings for you all to have a look at and then toe size they've gone through yeah hopefully one of these days we'll catch it in fact actually I was I was just going to give them a bit of food but it's best not to feed them when they're spawning There we go, next back on. Till next time. Let's see how they've developed again. Barracam. Somehow frogs got in, laid eggs.
Are you joking? <laughs> tap holes in there. Sorry about that, guys. That was Barracam. <laughs> this is now. Right, oh, yeah, you can see in there. They're big, they're about, about that big. Somehow, a frog's going here. There is tadpoles in there, aren't there? Yeah. Hello, little froglets. <laughs> there you go. How the hell did they get in there? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tree frog. The other thing is, oh, the hole does. Yeah, they must have jumped off yeah, here. From here and into well, the hole. How they got out again, though? Probably didn't. Yeah, they probably <laughs> dead yeah, at the bottom. There's another little one there, look, just under that leaf. Next year, I've got a hundred of frogs coming back. I'm getting the polytunnel to lay their eggs. <laughs> so, anybody want some frogs? <laughs> <laughs> what well, you might have to do, does? Take them far, far away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just, uh, just re them. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that one. Back to Barracam. Back to Barracam. Definitely need some air in this tyre, Daz. We're almost wondering if it's a solid tyre. Get the van loaded back up. Get these bits back in. It does his van sorted. And that, ladies and gents, so there you go, guys. Another job well done. Yeah. Laughs and giggles again. Yeah. Had a good time. Thanks both of you for today. My pleasure, mate. Thank you. Fantastic. Usual thing, guys. If you can do us a huge favour, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Until next time, keep smiling. We'll see you on the next one.